for the last three years. Um, some of you guys have worked with us or seen our product, um, but I'll simply go over. Um, my name is Tanner Tool again. This is our system. Um, we have a telemetry out in the field. It's plugged right into the probe. And then this is uh, the probe itself. Um, we are four feet down, 48 inches. We measure moisture, salinity, and temperature. We have 12 discrete management zones. It's uh, cellular telemetry. And we also have environmental alerts as well. So this is the process control. So when you log in, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see the probe in the field. And then we basically give you a color code, like a green, uh, like a stoplight. Green means you're good. Yellow means caution. Red means you probably should have watered uh, 24 hours ago. And blue means you're way too wet, which we had last year, which can hurt yields as well. So what we do is we go layer by layer and we're looking at rooting depth, apply the right amount of water, apply at the right time. We're watching the salt levels and drainage as well, especially last year we had a lot of salt movements and drainage. You're going to be able to see that uh, on the graph and on your probe. So this is what it is. You want to stay in the green band, keep the tank full. Um, you don't want to get below the red, you don't want to get above the blue too often. We simplify uh, irrigation is what we do. We do it graphically so that way it's a simple, easy tool to, to log on, see it, and go from there. So then this is where you want to dive in if you really want to get into the uh, nitty gritty of our, our product. You can actually see individual zones and individual uh, sensors. And what you're doing is you're watching the irrigation or rain event go up and then you're watching the crop consumption go down. So the other thing is you're watching the stair stepping or the, the uh, crop stepping. And this is basically showing where the roots are actually pulling from. And this is where you're going to look into it, but you don't need to actually go to this, this page if you don't want to because we're going to graphically tell you how deep the roots are pulling and then we're literally going to tell you how deep they're pulling as well. So this is a site that you don't have to go to if you don't need to, but this is a, a place where you can actually uh, go and individually look at uh, where they're going from. But our website's always calculating that for you, so you don't have to go to this page. That's a quick, uh, quick thing to look at. Um, the other thing is how deep your irrigations are going, water infiltration. So this is another big thing, especially with uh, pivots that have been re-nozzled, um, you know, or if it's a dry year, the pumps are going down and, uh, you know, you get a little air pocket in there and you're thinking you're putting on an inch, but you're only putting on maybe three quarters. Well, the probe is actually going to tell you how deep your irrigations are going. You know, are they going to the four inch, are they going beyond, are they going to 12? Or in a wet year like last year, you know, you put it on a half inch and it goes all the way through. And then this is what happens when that happens is you have these drainage events. And so those bottom lines are at that 48 inch mark and when they just spike up like that, the water is, the water is so full in those areas that whatever you're putting on is going right through. So if you had any nutrients in that soil, you're just flushing them. So then the final irrigation, this is another big thing, is when do I stop? Um, with our probe, you can actually put in there when your layers are going on, like when the crop stages are going, so you'll actually know when black layer is. You can actually put that in there, and you can see, you know, do I need to keep going? So here's two different graphs where the black layer on the one on the left, you can tell that, hey, he's probably still going to have to need to irrigate up until that because he's riding the refill point. The one on the right, you know, he probably, if he did irrigate those last few, he probably kind of almost wasted some irrigation because uh, he didn't need to, he had enough to go on. Now, if those are rains, you can't really uh, change that. But that's the two different types of graphs that you're going to be looking for uh, when you're looking at that black layer and that final irrigation. And what it does is it gives you that final say like, hey, do I need to run my pivot one more time? Well, a lot of guys, you, you run it just to be on that safe side. Well, you're wasting water, you're wasting energy, and uh, you're just basically wasting money on that, ca on that case. So with this, you can actually see, do I have enough to finish out? So this is the other unique thing that we do is we're the only company out there that we know of that actually gives you a refill and a full point for each four inch zone. So when we actually have the active root zones 
in our summary graph, I'm showing you three different summaries here. And the one on the far left is of 24 inches, the one on the middle is 36, and the other one's the full profile. So when the ruts are at 24 inches, the summary, that's all we're showing you. We don't care about the water that's below because your crop isn't using it at that point. So that's why we're the only ones that give you the active root zone and then we actually do a full and a refill point all the way down because your four inch is gonna be a lot bigger tank than your 48 inch just because that's where the roots can pull up from easier. The other thing, this is kind of new, we've always been measuring salts, um, but this year we're gonna try to visualize it a lot better for you guys. So we're gonna give you a caution zone and a good zone. So anything below that red line is actually good. Anything above it, we're not gonna say that it's a bad salt, we're just gonna call it a caution because we know that the salts are higher. And if you just applied nitrogen, or any type of fertigation, the salts should be higher. What we don't want to see is throughout the season, salts building up, or maybe we have some instances and in some wells where they're actually pumping too much salt. So when they actually irrigate later in the season, they're actually applying straight up salt water. So that's the biggest thing on this is the EC is you're going to be able to see the difference between caution and good. And the other thing that you really want to watch on this if you're doing any type of fertigation is when you when you fertigate, you want to make sure that that 4 inch level, you don't go anything past that 4 inch. If you see a spike at the 8 inch or 12 or anything like that, you're pushing your nitrogen past the zone. And it's going to go into the, you're losing so much to the soil and it's not getting uptaked very fast. So when you fertigate, you really don't want to see anything beyond the 4 inch mark and even 4 inches, some say, can be even too deep. You want it right there at the surface to get sucked up right away. Uh, the new thing that we added this year is kind of some weather stuff. Um, you know, with this program, there's a lot of other uh, companies out there that do a lot of other weather things. But if, uh, if you have a probe uh, out in your field that's not part of this, you'd be able to see uh, temperature, humidity, um, growing degree units as well. And you'll still be able to see that through the UNO TAPS program. Uh, but this is just a new added feature that we did. Uh, another thing is you can actually set alarms. Um, so if, if, if you're a guy that doesn't want to push the probe kind of to that refill point, you can actually say, hey, I don't want it to go below this percentage. And on our phone, you'll be able to get an alert that says, hey, this field is at 72%. And it'll give you an alert that says that. Uh, so the biggest thing is uh, for this, it's all about profitability. What's the ROI on, on, on our system? So inputs, you know, you got one inch of water. You say one turn, if you're doing one inch, it's going to pay back. Um, less than 1% of the quality of, of, of everything would be less. The yields, less than 1% uh, increase will be the payback on that as well. Questions? What percent moisture on the soil do you set the refill for? So that's calculated um, by the, the by the per field per inch. So we don't actually care about the soil type or anything. So it's always calculating. So once it hits saturation, that's 100%. But the refill point? Oh, the refill point, it's based on the soil type. So if it's a heavier clay, it's gonna come off so much. If, uh, if it's a sandier, it's gonna come off so much. But we call our refill point 0%. So it's not like 50% or nope. everything? Nope, it's just based on our uh, algorithms that we've had over yield data for the several years based on yield, based on crop type. So corn's gonna be a little bit different than soybeans and everything else. So you gotta get, uh, gotta get out of that old agronomic terms. That's where a lot of guys struggle with it because they want that hard number. We don't do that, we just watch it here. And that's where we, that's where we come in with the active root zone and that's where we're doing each individual zone is different. Any other questions? Can you upgrade older probes? Yes. Do you have programs for that? Yes, we do. Yep. And throughout the season, I'm just based out of uh, Elm Creek, which is about an hour from there. So if you guys are in this program and you guys need to do one-on-ones uh, -on -ones or any phone calls, I can definitely do that. Go to meetings. Um, 
it's a short drive or a short phone call. So 